How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Unity tutorial. So in today's video I'll be creating a timer that is within a slider. Uh, it's pretty cool because that actually rhymes. <laughs> but to show you how it works, if I just run this. So I've set the time to be 10 seconds so you can see the slider slowly ticks down as well as the timer slowly ticks down and then until it gets to zero. Cool, so that's it. Let's get into it. So I've created a empty scene here and the first thing we want to do is just add our slider. So we've got UR slider. That will just create our slider on the screen. We then just want to maybe just move it so it's in the, re the correct position. Um, just increase the size a little bit. Um, just make sure that looks okay. Cool, that looks good. Uh, what you might also want to do is on the canvas itself is just to change this UR scale mode. For example, if this is on a mobile device, um, the screen size might be a bit different and you can see um, the slider kind of just, just disappears off the screen. So what you want to do is just change this to scale with screen size. This will fix this, the slider to one position. Cool. So once we're done with that, we then want to just go to our slider. We want to delete this handle slide area. We don't really need that anymore. And there's one more thing we need to change on the slider itself is this weird issue where for example if you change the max value to one or the values full to one you can see there's always this little area that's left here so we need to fix that so let's just take this down to zero again we go to this full um, on the width itself here we want to just change that to zero then on the full area let's just go to the rec tool let's zoom in a little bit here and just want to make this full Cool. So we can test that. Let's just go back to our game. Uh, if I then change the slider value here, ah, there we go. So you can see it's not really that little gap, that little um, bit of area that wasn't getting filled in is not getting filled in. Cool. So the next thing we want to do is just add our text area. Let's just add our text. Um, and I just use the rec tool to adjust this a little bit. Uh, we can change the timer text. And we can change this to zero 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 zero. I'm just gonna clamp this a little bit, uh, make it a little bit smaller. We don't need it so large. And let's just adjust it so it sits perfectly within our slider. Cool, that looks good. Uh, the next thing we want to do is just create an empty game object, and this we're gonna call our game console. So we're going to be adding our script onto this, and this is where our timer will be controlled. So the next thing we want to do is just create a new folder. Let's call this scripts. And inside here, we're going to create our new C-sharp script called timer. Once you've created it, double click and open up Visual Studios. The first thing we want to do is say using Unity engine.ur. This is to allow us to use text. So we want to first say public slider um, timer slider. This will be where we define our slider, what slider we're going to be changing the value for. Next we want to say public text. This will be the for the timer text. Then we want to say public uh, floats game time. This will be our obviously the game time. And then we want to say private bool um, stop timer. This is so when we know when to stop the timer. So on the void, let's just say, make this set to false for now. Um, we also then want to change the max value and the actual value of the slider. So let's just say timer slider dot max value is equal to game time. So this, we have to set the max value first in order to change the value. Um, Oh, oops, put an S there. Time slider dot value. Come on, man. Got value is equal to game time. Cool. So that's going to set the value and the max value to whatever the max game time is. For example, 1 minute, 60 seconds, it will set the max value to 60. So the next thing we want to do is define a float time. And we're going to equal this to game time minus time dot time. So if we're working with one minute, for example, 60 seconds, we're going to be reducing one second off the game time every, every update. So the next thing we want to do, we want to um, 
get the amount of minutes in our game time. So what we will do is say minutes equal math f dot float to int open brackets time divided by 60. So this is how we will get the amount of minutes that we have in our game in our game time. Then we want to get the amount of seconds. Same thing math f dot float to int time minus minutes times 60. Cool, so that's how we get the amount of seconds that we have left. Then we need to use the minutes and seconds to put it in some kind of like format. So we're going to say text time is equal to string dot uh, format. Open bracket, open uh, quotes, curly bracket zero, zero, um, curly brackets one. Cool, so that will be the text time, uh, the format. Then you want to say minutes and seconds. So we know we're using minutes and seconds. We then want to say if the time is less than or equal to zero, then we're going to set the stop timer to equal to false. Uh, true, sorry. So that's when we know we set to stop the timer. And then if stop timer is equal to false, then timer text dot text equal to text time and we also want to set the timer starter dot value equal to time cool that's all we need to do for the timer script let's get back into unity Cool, so in Unity now, we need to drag our timer script onto our game console um, game object. We just want to drag the slider to the timer slider. Um, we want to drag the timer texture, and we can just change this to 60 for now. Uh, we also want to just change this full area to like a red, so it just looks a bit better. Cool, so if I run this, you can see that's gone to 60, and you can see it's slowly going down. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just drop a comment. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. Um, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Cheers.